Molten chocolate lava cakes are the ultimate dessert delight. And in just a few seconds, Amanda will show you how to make this delicious dessert. Welcome to Fire Eats and Treats. My name is Damond, and once again, this is Treat Week. For some reason that we can't quite remember, in our family, we affectionately refer to these cakes as turtle cakes. But whatever you call it, you will love it. And as an added treat, we'll guide you through making a smooth vanilla cream sauce that complements these cakes beautifully. Are you ready to show us how it's done? I sure am. All right, well, what exactly are we gonna need today? All right, so today for our lava cakes, we will need butter, flour, two eggs, two egg yolks, cooking spray, Hershey's Semi-Sweet chocolate chips, and CNH Premium Cane Powdered Sugar. And for our cream sauce, we will use butter, flour, heavy whipping cream, sugar, and pure vanilla extract. And for garnishing, we'll use Hershey's Chocolate Syrup. All right, now that we've gathered all our ingredients, let's get baking. First, in a microwave-safe bowl, add one stick of butter and one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Then microwave on high for 30-second intervals, stirring after each interval until the mixture is completely melted and smooth. Next, separate two egg yolks from their whites. Then add your egg yolks and two eggs to the chocolate mixture and mix together until well combined. Now add your powdered sugar and mix that in thoroughly as well. And finally, add your flour and give it another mix. Remember, ingredients and exact amounts can be found in the description below this video. Once your mixture has a nice and smooth consistency, transfer it to a Ziploc bag. This will make it easier to control when pouring. Now grease your custard cups with cooking spray, then carefully pour about two thirds cup of the mixture into each glass. Next, cover each glass with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least two hours to firm up the mixture. And I guarantee, it's gonna be fire. While those cakes are chilling, you'll have plenty of time to make your vanilla cream sauce. In a medium saucepan, add heavy whipping cream, sugar, and flour. Then add butter and cook over medium heat, constantly stirring until the butter is melted and the sauce begins to bubble. Continue cooking the mixture, consistently stirring for three minutes. Then remove the saucepan from the heat and stir in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that's all, your cream sauce is done. Now we'll transfer to a mason jar to set aside for later. After your cake mixture has chilled, preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Then bake for 13 to 20 minutes or until the tops are cracked and the edges are set. Cooking times may vary depending on your oven. Once done, remove and let stand for one minute. Now use a butter knife and gently glide around the edge of the cup. Then place a plate on top of the cup and flip over to release the cake. And finally, garnish with vanilla cream sauce, powdered sugar, and chocolate syrup. And your turtle cakes are ready to eat. everybody these molten lava chocolate molten chocolate lava cakes are you have no idea how long we've been waiting for this all right everybody this looks amazing thank you amanda for this delicious looking treat and let me tell you what they smell great we are ready to give it a try gonna mix it in here with a little bit of the cream sauce it is so rich it is so creamy. You're gonna love this. <laughs> Sometimes I forget how fire it really is. Don't forget, only Hershey's semi-sweet chocolate chips. Nothing can make this that good. It is so rich, I don't know how you could eat it without a little bit of that cream sauce to cut yeah. the chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. So don't skip on the cream sauce. Make sure you make your cream sauce as well. Or you can eat it with some vanilla ice cream. That works great as well. You just want it all to yourself. <laughs> no. The cake is velvety. The cream sauce is smooth. And uh, you can put a little fruit on there. The man put some strawberries on there to give it a little color, but and they go great with it as well. Like I said, you could use vanilla ice cream or you can use cream sauce. Anything with a little vanilla in it works really good with this chocolate 
molten lava cake. The combination of the cream sauce with the warm cake is just heavenly. Amanda, any final thoughts? Yes, I would just like to emphasize the fact that it is very important for you to put your custard cups in the refrigerator so that they can firm up so that when you bake them, they have that warm, creamy, chocolatey inside. Great tip. I can personally attest to how delicious these turtle cakes are. I hope you all try this recipe and let us know how it turns out for you in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, to comment, and to subscribe so that you can be notified when new videos drop. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Molten chava lava cakes are the oh. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you didn't say it.